So if you've been following along with the podcast or me at Cut Flower Scott on Instagram, whatever, you know that I love zinnias. I've always loved zinnias and especially, um, I don't know if it's because of my childhood or what, but I just, I've always loved them. So when we rented this house, there was a little area up in front and uh, my wife Catherine went and bought me a couple packs of seeds. So I want to show you the wiggle test. So if you're not familiar with the wiggle test, I thought this might be a kind of fun opportunity to show you. And it's all about cut stage for zinnias. All right, so let's take a look. So I don't have a very big patch, but I have like three rows that I just kind of jammed in here and they're all kind of blooming right now. But I also want to show you this hibiscus. Uh, this is that mahogany, is mahogany splint, I can't remember the name exactly, but it's mahogany. And this is that foliage that is really great as a cut that sometimes has a hard time holding up. So I was able to get a plant and I've put it in the garden so that way I can play around with cut stage and post harvest situations with it so that way we'll figure it out because this is such a great plant it's so easy to grow and it is just a beautiful beautiful foliage and color so anyway back to the zinnias so there's a, two different there's just an assorted mix again it's just a generic zinnia and then there's this sort of peppermint one going on here. And some of the caterpillars have gotten into them a little bit. So the bees are loving them, which is always fun. But it's kind of fun seeing this little peppermint streak in zinnias. But uh, anyway, so I wanted to show you the wiggle test. So this is all about the stem. And you can see I am thrashing this flower back and forth and it's it's pretty rigid it's not going anywhere so that would be a great flower to go ahead and cut so let's see if we can find one that's not okay, so here's another one i love this color and it's not i mean you see it's wiggling because i'm shaking it back and forth but it's not really flopping around so let's see here uh, here, let's try this one. So if I take it and I flop it around, okay, nice. Do you see how it's bending when I'm doing that? I don't know if you can really see that. Maybe I should put it in slow motion. But that is probably not a good stem to cut yet. Uh, it needs to harden off just a little bit. And if you do it too hard or if, you know, like I broke this one a little bit ago and this one really was good and firm. But I, when I first did the snap, it just really kind of went a little I did it too hard so let's see if we can find some other ones let's try this one yeah see it's really kind of staying pretty vertical um, so is that one oh, it's, okay see this is a great example see it shouldn't be wiggling that much so that one is definitely not ready but that's really kind of it it helps you know when the stem is ready to cut See how that one is being really, it's going back and forth a lot. You just see that motion. Let me see, you see, you see the motion just really swings back and forth. And that is staying very, very stiff. And even that little one is. See how stiff that is? It's, oops, and then I broke it. Well, you don't want to do that. <laughs> You don't have to shake it very hard. See, I mean, you can just tell even by grabbing that one, that one's not ready. So that's the wiggle test. And if they're really, really weak stemmed and they're, they're just not ready to be cut, or they won't make a good cut flower if you feel like the flower is developed. So just wanted to take a minute and show you this. So I hope that was helpful, but it's a really great little test to kind of know if your zinnias are ready to be cut. And I'm going to go cut a bunch of these now and take them inside. All right. Have a great day.